morning guys just checking things out here um there we go i think it's good hello hello happy wednesday all right so i have a backup situation here because I don't know why my tripod looks like it's not charging. It's an electrical tripod. Good morning, guys. So hopefully it doesn't just stop on us because if it does, the screen will just flip. Um, I don't know what's going on. Good morning. All right, so a bit frazzled for me this morning. I've got family visiting. So it's always a bit harder for me to get in the mindset working from home and having them visit. So um, I have picked a workout, oh my goodness, this is like from two years ago, I wanna say. Um, it's more like a, it's a little bit more like a combo hit, but it's gonna feel some cardio. It's not super crazy, but it is a little bit longer than 20 minutes, more like 25 minutes. Hello, hello. Okay, I see you guys popping on. I see Nancy, I see Lisa. It is, if you live here in Calgary, oh my goodness. This is super annoying weather. <laughs> I think our golf course was supposed to open on Friday, which that's not happening. Um, so if you, uh, I think it's cold in a lot of places and I hate complaining about it, but I'm trying to be positive, but this is really cold. Like minus 18 Celsius and snow, not fun. I'm over it, arm circles. All right, so 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, do the best you can. Just going to take you through a whole bunch of exercises in fact there are 12 of them yeah all right let's take it wide sitting squatting while people are still popping on sitting back into those glutes good sitting back Go to the bottom and just give me a little pulse coming up and then come up onto your toes. Pulse, up, toes, little pulse, up, toes, two more. Pulse, and onto your toes, good morning. And up, onto your toes. Coming to the top of your mat, single leg lunge, one leg, you got five of them. Five, four, Three, two, one, stand up tall, do the other side. Five, stand tall. Four, three, two, and one. You're gonna go back again. This time hands are going in the air. You're gonna step back to your lunge and try and bring your knee up for five. Same side, five, Four, arms up if you can, three, two, lots of balance, one, trying to bring that knee up, finding that core, we're going to do the other side, five, four, three, two, and one, take a big inhale breath. Exhale, fold yourself down, pedal your knees, let your head hang, assess your body here, straighten and bend one knee, same thing on the other side, legs are probably going to be a little more tired today, we're going to be a little bit kinder to the legs, sort of, <laughs> good, switching sides, I'm doing IT band stretch two times on each side, Bending one knee, hand in the center, elbow against the inner thigh. Good, take your hands down, step yourself back into a plank. Puff up your upper back, give me eight mountain climbers. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap it out to the side for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Come down onto your elbows. Find elbow plank. Round and tuck. Tap your knees for eight times. Eight, seven, 
six, five, four, round, three, breathe, two, and one. See if you can come back up onto your hands, push yourself back into downward dog, rest here, pedal your heels, sit bones to the sky. One heel, then the other. Lifting up one leg, swing it through, drop your back knee, open up. We're gonna come back to that core, rounding forward, opening up, big stretches here. Round, good, opening up. We're gonna have a longer stretch today at the end, so hopefully you can stay for that. Both hands back on the same side, come back through plank to downward dog. We'll go right to the other side, open up. Drop your back knee, open, round, good. Drop that back hip, find those spots, guys. If you just wanna hold for a minute and settle in, in that lunge, especially for the hip flexor. Good, come back through center. You're gonna bring it in, eight mountain climbers, seven, puff up, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap it out for eight, eight, seven, six, five. Getting some heat, four, three, two, one. Come down onto your elbows. All this can be done on your elbows, guys. Whenever we're on our hands, elbows is always an option. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Tuck it in. Three, two, and one. Come down, well-deserved child's pose here. Reach your hands away, forehead on the ground, roll it on the ground. Good, inhale, exhale, hands to the right, bum to the left, reach and stretch. Same thing on the other side, reach and stretch. Come on to all fours, cat cow, hands under, shoulders, knees under, hips, let your belly release, round and tuck it in. Tuck your tail, tuck your chin, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale. Tuck your toes, walk yourself back to center, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Interlace your fingers and open up to the shoulders. Neck rolls side to side. Okay, giving you a little bit of stretching accountability. I'm seeing how many people are on. Okay, lots of people on, so we're gonna try and stretch today, right? You're gonna stretch with me? <laughs> All right, guys, first one. Timer is all set and ready to go. 40 seconds, sumo squat to press. This is a little bit different than having the weights on your shoulders, okay? So you can decide on this. You can either have the weights here, squat press, and I only have tens, okay? Or you can be here and press up. Actually, I'm gonna choose 12s. But I did wanted to show you with the light weights how we're gonna be here and up with feet wide, okay? Sumo squat to press is our first one. Then we're gonna go into some cardio. Getting ready with those weights in three, two, and one. Legs are wide and up. So it's a curl to press, really. Squatting, abs are in nice and tight, so when you press above your head, you're protecting your low back. Squatting down, knees going out. Even though you're bending at the hip, you still have that long spine. You're not rounding over in your spine. Proud chest. This is like ground to press, but with the legs wide. Three, two, and one. We're gonna go into just the high knees. So you're just gonna skip, okay? Trying to pick cardio that's not too hard on the legs today. <laughs> A little harder on the bladder though. <laughs> so high knee skip, high knee run, little ro uh, skipping rope hop. Okay, here, 40 seconds. I'm gonna do the skip. 
40 seconds. And we're going into triceps next. Then we're gonna hit the floor. Four triceps. We're gonna bend over, kick back. You have the options to do a push up or lie on your spine for triceps. Three, two, and one. So I'm gonna pick up my 12s. You might wanna go lighter depending on where you're at with triceps. Bending over, elbows in, pinkies to the back of the weight. You're gonna squeeze back those triceps. So bending at the elbow, again, tall spine. This can be hard on the low back if it's tight. So you can always, I'm gonna show you, lie down and be here, okay? So lots of options. Stick your bum out, tall spine, abs are in. Squeeze your elbows to your sides. Keep breathing. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going back to what we did at the beginning. Find your plank. We're gonna do four, four, and four. Four mountain climbers. Four, three, two, one. Tap it or jack it. Four, three, two, one. Come down to your elbows. Four, three, two, one. Coming up, you can run or go slow. Four mountain climbers. Three, two, jack or tap. Four, three, two, one. Come down, tap your knees. Four, three, two, one. Coming up, mountain. Four, three, two, one. Jacket. Four, three, two, coming up. We're gonna do that again. Grab a water. All right, so not too, too bad. Getting us nice and warm. Here we go again. Six seconds, roll the shoulders back. Three, two, one, let's go. Up. So, a little bit more power, second round. Abs are in. Squatting, drive. Keep going, all the way, squat, drive, three, two, one, jogging on the spot, little skips, timers, this is your rest, but I'm getting into it early, three, two, one, so if you want to take it up a notch, it's running on the spot or you're back to this skip. Pick. You know all the options for cardio, you guys. There are ways to make this more challenging if you need it. Keep going. Triceps are coming up. Push into the floor. Getting that heart rate up. Go, 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 go. Three, two, one. Picking up those weights. Take your rest, full 10 seconds. Shoulders roll back, feet hip distance. Bend in the hip joint, bend the elbows, squeeze the elbows. You can do this lying on your back, don't forget. Breathe. Squeeze back, long, long spine. Breathe. Squeeze. Keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Going to the floor. So this is a tricky transition with arms to arms. Find your core. We've got four mountain climbers. Three, two, one. Puff up your upper back. One, two, 
three, you can run those. Jack, four, three, two, one. Come down to your elbows, tap. Four, three, two, one. Come back up, run or slow. Jack, four, three, two, one. Four, 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 tap. Good, coming back up, let's keep going. Jack it out for four. Go down. Good, all right, find a child's pose quickly here. Quick rest. Just stretching out those shoulders, roll that forehead, exhale your breath. All right, we're going to curtsy lunge. All right, so we're gonna go down. We're gonna alternate. Then we're gonna go to shoulders, probably picking up some lighter weight. Then we're going to some cardio. Then we're gonna hit the floor. Getting ready. Here we go. So probably a little heavier if you want for the legs, lighter for the arms. If you don't like curtsy, I want you to do just regular rear lunge. Three, two, one, we're alternating. I really want you to focus on that nice tall spine. Breathe, shoulders back. So moving maybe a little quicker, focusing on that form. Remember, curtsies aren't for everybody. If it's too much, take it back to here. They don't have to be big. Shoulders back, light grip. Three, two, one. All right, guys, jump turn or just squat jump. So this is a bigger one for the legs. Three, two, one. So no jumping looks like this, okay? Or jumping or practice that jump turn. Swing those arms, land softly. Drive yourself up to turn. See if you can make it the whole time. Push off both those feet. Abs in. Drive. Oh, I said shoulders, didn't I? That was mean. All right, now we do shoulders. We're going out to the side, bent to elbow. Here we go regardless of the order. This is where we're gonna catch our breath. I was so excited to get the jumps over with. Abs in your slightly bent over. Keep breathing. Good job. All you got three, two, and one. You're gonna lie on your spine. Okay, I'm gonna give you people who love these kind of bicycles permission to do them. Go ahead, other people. You're doing your slow dead bugs. You guys, the reason why these don't change is because I want you to really be able to feel your low core going really slow. Okay, doing this fast is fine if you're very good at contracting the right part of your core. So always know this is not as, this is more effective really. Okay, so if you can try to go slow, find your low core to bring up your leg. Three, two, one. All right, quick, quick, quick sip. Quick, quick rest. We're going back. Curtsy lunge. Here we go. Picking up those weights, rear lunge or curtsy lunge. Roll the shoulders back. Three, two, one. Let's go. Down and up. 
Stand nice and tall through the center. When you step to the side, I think we'll do the same order, cardio then shoulders. Good job. Stand tall. Light, light grip. Three, two, one. Okay, going for it with those jump turns. Front jump squats. Three, two, one. Go. Lift those arms. Land soft. Core is in. Breathe. Go. This is your 40 seconds hard, you guys. I feel like I'm being a little easier on you with cardio today. A little bit more of a combo hit. Go. Keep going. Three, two, and one. You have 10 seconds. We're doing those shoulder raises. Bent elbow, bent forward slightly. Abs are in. Three, two, one. Keep breathing. Light, light grip. Keep breathing. All you got. Three, two, and one. All right, guys, we have our core on the floor. See how slow you can go here. Dead bug. Head, rest heavy if you want it up. Slow and controlled. Even pause at the bottom. You can give a little lift at the bottom, then come up. So pause, little lift. Your knees can be way more bent than mine. And up. As you get better, your legs can go straighter, but I want you to focus on your low core, feeling all of this work. Three, two, one. Good, gently rolling over to get up, we're moving on. All right, so remember ground to press. We're gonna do that now with our feet together. With some cardio and same idea. Getting ready, I want you to grab those weights again. Maybe you're feeling like you're really warm, you wanna go heavier. Feet are gonna be narrow, ground to press. Think of it as a power movement. Here we go, seven seconds. Roll the shoulders back. Here we go, three, two, one, go. I'm gonna to go to 15s on this one. Let's go, drive. So, Core is really, really important here. Squat up. It's a little faster, a little bit more power when you're moving the weights a little quicker. Go. Good job. All the way, three. Two, one. Okay, here's your cardio, guys. Speed skate, actually, I'm gonna do a side step reach or speed skater, you choose. Go, low, high. So low to basketball jump. So it's like a speed skater in the center and then you're doing a basketball jump. Good job. Keep it going. We're going to catch our breath with the next two.
Go, go, go. Two, one. Bicep curls. 40 seconds. Catching your breath. Three, two, one. I've got 15s. Control. Now we work our biceps in so many other exercises. So if this feels hard today, just remember that, especially in chest press and push up. Any back thing like that lat pull down, in our planks, always using our arms, you guys, best you can. Shoulders have to stabilize and they might be tired too. Three, two, and one. Hitting the floor, guys, sideways on this one side. You're gonna be on your left. I'm on my right. We'll do the other side, second set. Up and down. Option here with the knee. Go. Lift. So taking pressure off of the shoulder, you come to your knee. Make a nice rainbow shape with your side core. Lift, lift. Remember what side you're on. I'll remind you. All the way. Two and one. Any stretching you need, guys, if it's legs, quad stretch, do it. Grab water. Quick, maybe quad. Push your hip forward as you stretch we're going again ground to press here we go seven six roll the shoulders back good core three two one go sitting back side hop or side step hop. You can easily do this with no jumping. Three, two, one. Let's go. Low, low, up. Go for it. Push. Come on. Keep it going. All the way. Two and one. Picking up for biceps, this is going to be a challenge to get your breath. So, a couple options. Rest longer, one at a time. Hammer. Trying to catch your breath, you want to keep the good form, breathe. When you feel your breath is caught up, try two. Good job. Abs are in. Good. Woo! All you got, guys, come on. Be strong. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. It's true. To a certain extent here, we gotta be challenged. Whew. Some days feel better than others. Just do what you can. Side raise this side. Three, two, one. Here we go. Best you can. Modify when you need to. Try to keep going. Keep breathing. Lift. Lift. 
all the way. Go, go, go. And one. Seated glute stretch before we move on to the last four. Okay, so coming up. You have a choice. The first exercise is going to be swings with the weight in the center or alternating snatch. Alternating snatch means you're not going to get a lot in, so you can go heavy if you want the squat swings or the thrusters, we call them sometimes. These, this is going to be 40 seconds worth, okay? Otherwise, snatch here, you put the weight down, snatch here, alternating. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, second one will be our cardio again. And I'm gonna challenge you to do burpees. That's why I have my BOSU out if you want them. Um, but I'm going to do the burpee like this. The long jump one. Okay, so if you wanna do something like that, it's less down and up. That will be number two, pick any cardio. And then the other ones I'll show you when we get there. Okay, get ready. Swings or alternating snatch. Squat swing, five, four, three, two, one. You're here. So then you're gonna put it down, switch. It's a little bit of logistics at the bottom. So abs in, glutes strong. Ha, <sighs> sitting back. So you can always take this to a squat by itself if all of this is too hard. Abs are in. Going for a little more power today on Wednesday. Sitting back. Ha! Explosive movements with heavy weight. Three, two, one. Our heart rate's gonna just get higher and higher here to the end. Long jump burpee or Bosu burpees. Any other cardio, you guys. Three, two, one, squat jacks. Go. So you do one jump. You do your burpee. You jump back twice. Go. Keep it going. I'm watching my tripod here. Go, go, go. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Okay, picking up one weight. We're gonna go back to triceps, but behind our head. Three, two, one, breathe. Catching your breath here. You can go light. Breathe. Hard to breathe. Trying to hold those ribs in is challenging. Abs are in. Catching our breath. Breathe. Two. And one leg all the way down on your back. Two choices. Single leg knee or V up or double crunch. Here, go, you've got 40 seconds. Option if you want to do the crunch up or the V up, I should say. Straight leg or bent. If you have back issues, I would probably encourage you to do this one. Double crunch is a little bit better for that spine. You can also not do any upper body here and just do a reverse curl. Tapping, suck the belly button in. Good job. Three, two, one. Okay guys, it's our finale. One more set. 
You're doing good. I'm gonna give us a quick pause. Stretch anything you need to. I'm gonna do some long stretches today. Okay, first up, snatch in four seconds. I've got a 20. Alternate, three, two, one, let's go. Abs in. Good job. Remember, it's like you're peeling your shirt off, throwing it away. The elbow leads high. Drive through those legs. Go. Last set. Best you can. Go, go, go. Abs are in. Three, two, one. Okay, what cardio do you choose? You can hop over the mat. Squat jacks, speed skaters, burpee with me. Go. Go, go, go. Come on, guys. The cardio builds in this one. Stay, stay, stay. because I'm feeling that. Walk, walk, walk. Okay, picking up what you can. Maybe it's gonna be lighter for triceps. We're going in six seconds. Here we go. Breathing, trying to catch our breath. So guys, if you're like, I can't catch my breath, walk around. Just keep your core engaged. Breathe. Exhale out. Good, all you got. Keep breathing. Two. stretching. Here we go. Last core. Reverse curl. Double crunch or single leg V or knee up. So here, if you want to just really focus on that low core, go nice and slow down. Tap your toes or your heels. Suck your belly button in and pull. Good, keep it going. Three, two, one, stay here. Knees apart, feet together. Reach those hands up. Yes, we finished. It's about 26 minutes, you guys. Drop your elbows to your chest. Take an inhale breath, exhale it out. Reaching for those shoulder blades. Release your glutes. Good, switch to the other side. Lift your elbows, drop them down. Big breath. We're gonna twist first, grabbing one knee, extend the other, hug that knee really tight into yourself. Take it out to the side. Take it over and across your body. Extend the other arm out. Maybe shift your hips back. Just a nice recovery pose here. Inhale and exhale. Trying to get those shoulders on the ground. Good. Gently coming back to center. Just feel yourself back at center for a second and just let everything release. Good, 
bring the other knee up, hug it tight, 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 till you feel a pinching in your hip. Inhale and exhale, take it across your body, hand on the top of your knee, shift your hips back, tuck your top foot if you want, and just let yourself release here. Nice twisting recovery pose. Gently coming back to center, lifting those legs up, happy baby, pressing those knees into your armpits, letting your hips drop down to the ground. All right, we're gonna take off socks and shoes. Let's do some quality stretching. All right, flipping over, we gotta do hips first. But let's do cat cow, inhale and exhale. So hip flexors usually have to be stretched, actually they should, that is the rule, before glutes. Okay, so we're gonna open the hip so that we can stretch our glute. Bringing one leg forward, lunge stretch, square it off, come forward. So, a couple options here, you can stay square, practice coming down with that square hip. And then because you're not that far away from your foot, you're not leaning all the way forward, you might be able to pick this one up, okay? And that's gonna really give you a quality or in a more intense quad or hip flexor stretch. Once you get there, then you can come forward very ever so slightly to support yourself. Good, release that. Now stick your knee a little further away from you, heel toe your front foot out a little bit, and then then we'll drop down a little bit more so you can get some more opening in a different angle. Both hands on the same side, maybe even going down to your elbow now. Good, gently coming back, we'll do that hamstring. If you feel comfortable sitting on your foot, I want you to go all the way down and fold. Let's use our breath here, wherever you're at in this stretch. Inhale and exhale. It's all about the breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. We're coming forward again. Seeing if it's a little better. Maybe you can pick up again. Coming forward. Slide back again or go deeper into this stretch if you want. Or come back with me in hamstring. You pick where you want it most, guys. I need this hamstring. Inhale. And exhale. Good, staying on this side, you're gonna rotate this back knee in, extend this leg out, give me a nice side stretch here. Pushing your hips towards me, taking your hand behind your head, looking up, feeling all sorts of opening through that side body. Staying in this position, you're just gonna go all the way over to the other side. Push your hips towards me, hand behind the head, look up. Take an inhale and an exhale breath. So when we're doing this, we're also getting into all of those muscles. There's a whole load of them that attach with the core and the hips. And when they get all bunged up, things can get nasty. We're gonna rotate ourselves to the other direction. Find that lunge stretch on this side. All right, coming forward and then seeing if you can square those hips, possibly pick up that back leg. So as soon as you open up through this hip and not have it square, the less you're gonna feel that hip flexor stretch. So keeping the hips square, we're just trying to get to a specific spot here. Let's go a little deeper. Heel toe open, maybe drop down. 
maybe both hands on the same side, taking your back knee away from you. Good, gliding yourself back into that hamstring stretch, sitting your bum on your heels, folding yourself forward. Let's come forward again. Pick what feels good. Pick one. Maybe try both hands. Maybe you wanna try the opposite hand. Good, sliding back. to face the side, reaching up out of your hips, over you go, modified side plank, pushing your hips towards me. Take a big inhale and exhale breath, and open up, maybe a hand goes behind the head, open up through the chest. Good, gently helping yourself up, sending yourself over to the other side, push your hips towards me, hand behind the head. Okay, we're gonna go from hip opening and stretching to glutes. So coming forward this direction, go into a downward facing dog, pedal those hills. Find the calves, you guys. That jumping. Sit bones to the sky, pedaling those heels, really finding a stretch. Lift up one leg, open it up, pigeon, okay? now. Pigeon might not be for you. If it isn't, I want you to find lying down figure four and rest yourself all the way down here. We're gonna hold this for three big breaths. <clears throat> Let your hips sink to the floor. Inhale and exhale. Big breath in. Exhale, sink down. Release your hips, one more breath. Good, gently come up if you wanna try again, all for hip opening again, bringing that back. See if you can grab it. Maybe try both sides. Good. Back through downward dog, other, other side, same exact thing. Left knee, left wrist. Driving those hips back. Big breaths. If you're leaving me, have a good day. Reminder, I'll be here Friday for weights. I'm probably gonna make it, again, not super crazy heavy. I feel like some people are hurting a little bit. Um, so we're gonna might do a little bit of an easier weight session on Friday and then, um, I always say it's gonna be easy and then it's hard. <laughs> Saturday, off, Sunday off, I'm encouraging you guys to take a break as well. If the weather gets nicer here, we'll be walking. Big breaths. Um, but I will be back for Monday. And I know it's Easter break for a bunch of people, so if you're taking off, have an amazing time. Both sides. Seated down, let's open up through inner thigh. Sit up nice and tall, come forward. So forward or just hands behind, shake out those inner thighs and coming forward into that stretch. Try to release those legs. Inhale, lift through your spine, exhale, fold. Take one foot in, rotate towards that knee, 
over you go. Big side stretch here for that low back, you guys. Big stretch. We're gonna go back behind us. Hand behind, lift up. Again, hips, core, stretch, breathe. Come down, we're going back forward, this time towards the knee. Tuck in around, tuck your chin, cross your hands over your foot, send yourself down. Good, gently switch the other side. Sitting up nice and tall, side stretch. Open up that shoulder, look this way, find a nice, big, long stretch. Take an inhale and exhale. With those exhales, you should be able to go down a little further. So inhale coming up, exhale folding a little further. Guys, today's new release Wednesday. I always get excited. <laughs> uh, taking your hand behind. If you are in the market for some new active wear, athleisure wear, workout wear, swim wear, um, honestly, we have so much stuff, it's hard for me to stop shopping. Forward fold, forehead on the knee. Um, and those of you who don't know who are on here maybe listening, it's, it's my Zaya clothing um, that I sell and that I love. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, feet in a diamond shape here, turtle stretch. Hands underneath or on top, letting your head fold, send your hips away from you, and just release yourself all the way down. We're gonna hold this here for at least three breaths. Inhale and exhale. The secret to this stuff, you guys, is holding these stretches. Breathe, you gotta be patient. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Sitting up nice and tall. Couple options here. Just a very easy glute stretch, hugging your knee up. A little bit more, maybe tucking that bottom leg in, sitting up nice and tall and hug. Feeling a stretch down here, maybe at the top of that IT band. You can place that hand behind you. You're trying to get those sit bones anchored to the floor and hug that knee with a tall spine. Inhale. And exhale. Try to feel your melting body, like to the ground. All the muscles are trying to melt off the bones. Inhale and exhale. Lean back, switch to the other side. Top leg goes on the bottom. Bottom leg comes up top. Try to get those sit bones on the ground. Rotate, hug, sit up tall. Good. Take yourself back into a downward facing dog. Sit bones to the sky, pedal those heels again. Stretch through those shoulders. Walk your hands and feet all the way up together. Let your head hang. Interlace your fingers, place them behind your head and neck and give your neck some traction off of your spine. IT band stretch again, hand in the center, rotate up. Straightening this leg, feeling that stretch. The more you rotate, the more you're going to feel this all the way down. Foam rolling would be a great idea today too, you guys. Maybe we should incorporate that into Friday before our Easter weekend. Slowly roll 
dog one vertebrae at a time. Um, maybe you can answer if you're going to be here Friday. Am I going to be here for nothing? I hope not. It is Good Friday. I mean, I want to work out, so I'll, I'll probably be here regardless if you're here. But other side, head and neck. Get in a weight session, a little sweaty weight session on Friday. Rolling again through the front, do it again. Inhale, exhale, feel that stretch. You're welcome guys, I see you popping off. Other side. If you're a silver watching this and you're still here, if you're watching this after we do it, I did send out an email to all of you guys. Your silver membership is not changing. I've had a couple messages. It is not changing at all. It just means it's not available once you leave. So you're still paying the exact same thing. You still have access to the same stuff. I'm just phasing it out. Okay, any questions about that, please message me or email me so I can clarify for you. And yes, to foam rolling on Friday, I agree, Robin, we need to do that. Okay, Friday, I've decided we're gonna do a little sweaty weight session and foam rolling. Okay, guys, have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.